Welcome to Jackets TV presented by Ohio Health. I'm Bob McElligot and today I am joined by the newest member of the Columbus Blue Jackets forward Gustav Nyquist is with me. I know you prefer to be called Gus. I've called your name for years when you were in the American <laughs> Hockey League and in Detroit, so bear with me, but I'll get used to it. Gus, welcome to Columbus. How are you? Thank you. I'm, I'm great. Now, I'm getting you when you are just literally getting to town, so we can't talk about what you've seen and what you've liked, but you sign here as a free agent, so I know that you like what the organization is doing. You like the personnel, the guys that you're going to play with. You're excited about that, but people, like, when I go around, people say, well, what's your favorite city? What do you like about this and that? And when you're playing or when you're working with a team, you basically see the hotel, a place for dinner, and the arena. <laughs> so with all of that in mind, what attracted you to Columbus and what are you hoping to see as you get around the city and start to find out more than just a two block area? Well, I, I mean, in coming here, I, I talked to a lot of people and I've heard nothing but great things to, to say about Columbus. Like you said, we spend a lot of time at the hotel and, uh, and the rink when we're in town. We're basically just in for the day, so, so we don't get to see much. But, but uh, uh, you know, I'm excited to get, get around the area and, and, uh, and see what, what people uh, love so much about it. So, so I'm excited to be here. You have a young family, you have a wife, a young daughter. So um, this is a place that is good for young families, and I'm sure that uh, the people that you talked to made you well aware of that. Yeah, for sure. They, they, they mentioned all, all the right things with, with that and, uh, you know, great schooling, uh, lots of things to do for families so, so and it's safe. So um, I'm excited for that. Now, when free agency opened, you know, where were the Blue Jackets on your list? I mean, how much were you hoping that this would come to fruition, that you were going to be here when it was all said and done? Yeah, I think throughout the process, I think Columbus was one of the teams that, you know, I really looked at and, and uh, um, you know, really hoping it to uh, um, strike a deal with. And, and uh, you know, once once it came down to it, I think uh, uh, it was a great fit for me. And, and uh, uh, I'm, I'm really excited to, to be here. Why do you see it as a great fit for you? I think uh, they got a lot of good pieces, you know. I, I think uh, they got a lot of young players here. Um, that are moving in the right direction and, and uh, uh, some great veteran uh, players with, so that brings quality leadership and, and uh, a good mix of that and, and uh, you know go in the right direction they show that last year obviously sweeping Tampa in the, in the first round of the playoffs uh, Tampa's a really good team so, so um, you know I'm hoping we can uh, build off that. In the last couple of weeks a lot of the outside focus here has been how this team has changed from the people that have left but you're talking about the people that are here in the core and this is it's a young core and it's a there are opportunities for a guy like you don't you see it that way to play with some of these young guys help to make them better help and they can help to make you better too yeah absolutely I think that goes both ways uh, like you said for sure and, and uh, um, you know in today's game the league's getting younger and we got a lot of those younger core pieces here so so um, that's that's an exciting thing for, for, for a team to have and um, you know people talk about the departures but I I see it as opportunity for, for myself and uh, a lot of the younger guys or a lot of the guys on the team in general to, to, you, to take on a bigger role and a bigger step in their, their careers. Let's talk about some of the guys on this team that you do have even a little bit of a relationship with. Cam Atkinson, you both played college hockey. Uh, you got to know each other a little bit there. Uh, what have been your impressions of Cam and watching the way that he's developed as an NHLer? He's a great, great player and, and uh, um, you know, he's, he's shown that for, for, for a lot of years now and, and uh, a guy that, that uh, uh, is dangerous every time he's on the ice basically. I think he's one of those players where um, you know you kind of notice every time he, he's on the ice. So um, we talked to him a little bit uh, so far co coming here so, so hopefully we'll, we'll uh, see each other soon here and catch up. You went to the University of Maine. There's another alumni that will be standing behind the bench behind you there in John Tortorella. Uh, have you talked much to Torts? Uh, just just a brief phone call, but but uh, you know got a great impression. Um, talked to a lot of guys, and you know that they they have nothing but but good things to say about about him as a coach and, and uh, you know playing under him. Uh, um, everyone says that that's that's great. So, so uh, uh, I'm excited for, for for this opportunity. Alexander Wenberg, uh, you're Swedish. You played with him in the World Championships. He's a guy that a couple of years ago had a great season. He struggled the last few. Um, how well do you know him and how much do you hope that uh, maybe the two of you might get a chance to work together that you can help to, to bring the best back out in him? Yeah, we played uh, um, world championships together uh, 
was that three years ago, I think, and, and uh, got to know each other there and, and played together there and, and uh, built some chemistry there. Uh, um, so, uh, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes into camp and into the season, but, but uh, you know, he's a great player and, and uh, a player I'd really like to play with. And another guy you know because you played a long time in Detroit, you lived a long time in Detroit, and still we're living in Detroit even after you went to San Jose, is Zach Wierenski. Uh, what kind of a relationship have you and, and Zach built? Yeah, we've gotten to know each other a little bit over the last couple of years, especially. Um, mainly we work out at the, at the same place in the summer, so, so uh, we're kind of a big group of guys working out there, but, but uh, we've gotten to know each other the last couple of years, so, so um, you know, uh, in talking to him uh, just at the gym here the last few days, he says it's, it's, a, uh, it's a great group of guys and uh, a great area to, to, to play in, so, so uh, um, you know, I'm excited to, to, uh, to hear, hear those things. You come into the league with the Detroit franchise, uh, you know, obviously a storied franchise there. Last year at the trade deadline, you get sent to San Jose, another team that's had great success in its existence. Playing for teams like that, what does that do for you? Just the, uh, the experiences of the guys that you play with, uh, the organizations, in Detroit's case, it's been around for a long, long time, great tradition there. What has that done to form you as a player? I've been fortunate to play with some really great players. You know, when I came into the league, uh, I remember stepping into the locker room in Detroit for the first time. Lidstrom and Todd Bertuzzi and guys like that were still playing. It was pretty intimidating, to, to be honest with you. But, but uh, um, you know, and then obviously uh, uh, played for a long time with, with Zetterberg and, and Cronwall, and, the, and those guys really um, have really been mentors to me. And, and uh, um, you know, it's been great to, to kind of see their everyday work ethic and, and why they've been so good for, for so long in this league. So, so I think that's really um, you know, helped me in my career and, and just understanding how hard you have to work each and every day to, to, uh, to be able to be that good. And moving on to San Jose and having a chance to experience the playoffs that you did last year, uh, that's another bit of experience that can help you as you go along, isn't it? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Uh, that, that's as far as I've gone in, in, in an NHL playoff and, and um, you know, we, we were in the playoffs with Detroit for many years, but, but uh, uh, personally, I never went got through the second round. So, so uh, you know, it was a, I had a great experience with San Jose um, um, going to the conference final. You know, great group, of, great group of guys, and it's a different experience. You know, getting traded for the first time after spending almost eight seasons with Detroit. So, so uh, learning new systems, but but the guys and management were great, and and uh, nothing but but good things to say about that place. And when you get traded, you have to learn on the fly because you just go from one city to another. And now, as you said, it's uh, the most pressure-packed time of the year, and then you're getting into the playoffs. Is this a little bit more of a relaxing transition for you? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit, I, I would say. I mean, now you, at least, uh, you know, I'll be skating here uh, hopefully a little bit before camp and then getting uh, getting into camp, kind of learning the systems uh, a little bit in, in, in a calmer environment maybe uh, um, not in, in a game time we'll, we'll practice on a little bit which which you don't have time to uh, during the last stretch of the, of the season there so so um, I hope that'll be a little easier when you were asking around uh, prior to free agency did the John Tortorella training camp come up in any of your discussions <laughs> no I've heard it's a, it's a good challenge but but uh, you know what? I'm not. I'm not worried about that. We're we're we're, we're there as a team, and we'll get through it. And and um, you know, I think that tough training camps that just brings the team closer. So so um, you know, you got to learn to to work hard to 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 be successful in this league, and and uh, that's what we're gonna do. You know what I've been trying to figure out for years? If this is real or if it's just some kind of a, a folk legend, how tough this camp is. So I, I want to catch up with you afterwards. And yeah, get we'll your talk opinion. after then, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You mentioned when you came to Detroit, the likes of Nicholas Lidstrom and, and Henrik Zetterberg and all those guys, and especially Zetterberg. Um, what did he do for you and what lessons did he leave with you? You're not an old guy by any means, but with this league being younger, there are younger guys in there. What kind of lessons did he leave with you that you might be able to take and help younger players with? No, I think overall, just I mean, we've we've become very close friends, but but uh, I think overall, just his work ethic. I think that's one thing that that stood out to me. Um, uh, you know how hard he worked uh, on and off the ice. Uh, you know he was he was through a lot of injuries uh, during his career and and uh, major back uh, injury, obviously, and and was went through surgery and just 
you know, the way he, he worked to, to get back uh, at the level he was, uh, um, you know, I think that that was, that was, uh, uh, that was something uh, cool to see for, for a younger guy like me. Now, as you get ready to go out on the town and try to find a place to live and, and figure things out, that is the, the one part that I think fans, you don't think about it as a fan. You forget about it. But there's an actual human side to all of this stuff, too. So how much are you looking forward to, to getting those things taken care of so that you know where you're going to be, when you're going to be there, and you can just start to move on with life? Yeah, that'll be nice. So we'll, we'll go around and check out all the nice areas around here and then uh, hopefully uh, find a place to settle down. But, but I'm, sure, uh, I'm sure it'll be a, a, a great spot. I've got to tell you. When I first came here and I was looking for a place to live, as you go around, and I would talk with people in the office, maybe you'll talk with your teammates now, everybody is a champion of their own community here around Columbus. So I think you're going to be lobbied to go a lot of places, so good luck with that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Thanks. Gus, thank you so much for taking a couple of minutes out of your day. It's great to meet you. Uh, I know the fans are excited to have you here. We're excited to have you as well. And best of luck in moving on, finding a place to live, and getting ready for camp. Thank you very much. That's Gus Nyquist. He is the newest member of the Blue Jackets. I'm Bob McElligot. Thanks for watching Jackets TV, presented by Ohio Health.